Hello guys, Manuel from Geekception here and hope you're doing awesome today. Now today I shall be comparing the Asus Zenfone 3 to the Asus Zenfone 4. In this video, I shall be showing you the differences in performance, in battery life and more. Let's begin. And welcome back guys. Now before I start this comparison video between the Zenfone 3 and the Zenfone 4, I want to give a huge shout out to everybody that left a comment on my community post. Now if you're not aware, there's a community tab right now where I'm going to be posting, you know, uh, stuff before the uh, videos go live, like asking you guys for input for new videos. So if you actually want to hear your name, you know, giving a shout out, so that's why you should stick to the end of this video. If you left a comment, I'm going to give you a shout out. So don't go anywhere. Anyways, I'm going to be posting, sorry for this long intro i'm going to be posting on the community tab so do look out for that okay so you you know get the info also uh if you're uh, new to this channel i'm emmanuel welcome to this channel i hope you enjoyed here hope this video is able to help you if you're returning well welcome back you are amazing awesome person let's get started and i'm starting off with the top of the device uh, the zenfone 4 is an evolution of the zenfone 3. yes they both have glass backs but there are a few differences First up is the fact that the fingerprint scanner has been relocated to the front of the Zenfone 4. Also, there's now a dual camera setup on the Zenfone 4 with one standard camera and one wide angle camera. Button placement has also remained the same with the Zenfone 4 having no camera bump as opposed to the camera bump on the Zenfone 3. Also, the headphone jack on the Zenfone 4 is now on the bottom compared to that on the Zenfone 4 which is on the top. The front facing camera is also on the left side of the Zenfone 4 as opposed to on the right side on the Zenfone 3. Now, as regards to the capacitive buttons on the Zenfone 4, they are now backlit. Finally! And lastly, one of the major differences I've noticed is that the Zenfone 4 is slightly taller than the Zenfone 3. It makes up for this by being slightly less wider. Now, this helps with the grip on the Zenfone 4, making it less slippery than on the Zenfone 3. Software-wise, the Asus Zenfone 3 runs Android 7, while the Zenfone 4 runs Android 7.1.1. Both devices run Zen UI, Asus's custom skin on top of Android. Now the major difference here is that Zenfone 4 runs Zen UI 4, while Zenfone 3 runs Zen UI 3. And one major difference is between uh, the Zen UI version is the fact that Zen UI 4 is much more lighter with lesser bloat apps. For a more comprehensive taste between the differences between Zen UI 4 and Zen UI 3, I already made a video, so go check it out. Links shall be in the description down there below. Overall, though, Zen UI 4 on the Zenfone 3 is more cleaner and definitely has a faster feel to it. Now, they both have a 5.5 inch displays, and the both are full HD displays, nothing has changed there. Something I did notice though is the fact that the white balance on the Zenfone 4, at least to my own eye, is more accurate than on the Zenfone 3. No worries though, if you're not satisfied with the, you know, white balance out of the box, you can also always go into the settings to adjust the white balance for both devices in fact. But straight from the factory, I would have to say I prefer the white balance on the Zenfone 4. Now, consuming videos on both devices was pretty good. They both have identical displays at 5.5 inches. And I'm pleased to say that there was adequate saturation as well as good viewing angles on both devices. You cannot go wrong with either of these two. Moving on to audio, I ran an audio test comparing the speakers on both these devices. Check it out. On coming back from that test, for me especially, and I did test this with like an audio meter, the Zenfone 4 is actually, I think, 3 or 4 or 5 dB louder than the Zenfone 3. Now, it's not a lot, it's not like, you know, a huge difference, but it is definitely louder. Also, has better bass, I think. While using the headphone jack, however, audio from the Zenfone 3 was way better. Now, this surprised me a lot. The DAC on the Zenfone 3 produces a way better output than on the Zenfone 4 and yes, why the Zenfone 4 is no slouch, the Zenfone 3 definitely sounds better with a good set of headphones. Rounding on media consumption, I would say they both have really really good displays. When it comes to speakers, the Zenfone 4 is better. When it comes to audio through the headphone jack, the Zenfone 3 is better. And I'm moving on to the camera, the Zenfone 4 has a dual camera setup here compared to the single camera on the Zenfone 3. 
And thanks to that uh, second camera, you get a wider field of view, which you don't get on the Zenfone 3. And, you know, uh, for a full camera test, I've actually run a full, uh, you know, camera test between both these devices. So you can check it out. Link shall be in the description down there below. For a quick summary though, the Zenfone 4 is a good upgrade over the Zenfone 3 with brighter images and less darker videos. Also, thanks to Zen UI 4, there's a portrait mode on the Zenfone 4, which I love. Now, this should come to the Zenfone 3 through an update to Zen UI 4. But for now, yes, definitely portrait mode on the Zenfone 4. Sweet. Moving on to performance, uh, there's not a lot of difference here. Yes, the Zenfone 4 has the Snapdragon 630 as well as 6GB of RAM, but this does not mean that it completely beats the Zenfone 3 with its 4GB of RAM and Snapdragon 625. Yes, certain apps loaded faster on the Zenfone 4, and also due to the 6GB of RAM, it retained more in memory over a long period of time, but uh, frankly, over <laughs> You know, all the time I use both devices, I would not say it's that noticeable. And even by today's standard, the Snapdragon 625 is a really good processor. So while yes, the Zenfone 4 definitely beats the Zenfone 3 in performance, I wouldn't read into it too much. It's not like it beats it by like 100%. I would say it's about 25 to 30% better. Gaming on both devices was okay with similar performance. Uh, there was no perceptible difference on the Zenfone 4 in terms of gains, I would say. And these two phones can play any game you throw at it. So pretty good performance when it comes to gaming. Well, moving on to the battery life, uh, let's start with capacity first. The Zenfone 3 has a 3000mAh battery, while the Zenfone 4 has a 3300mAh battery. But here's the thing, I did not notice that big of an improvement in battery life. Now, I was still getting about 4-6 to six hours of screen on time on the Zenfone 4 depending on how heavy my usage was. And this is exactly identical to the screen on time I was getting on the Zenfone 3 as well. Now, while this is not disappointing, not by any means, I definitely expected the Zenfone 4 to absolutely be boss, but hey, it's still within the same range as the Zenfone 3 as well. Now, I cannot say for software updates in the longer term, but for now, I would say the battery life is almost the same. As regards to this fingerprint scanner, the Zenfone 4 was definitely faster than the Zenfone 3. And uh, when it came to the boot test, however, uh, the Zenfone 3 was faster than the Zenfone 4. Yes, I know, I'm surprised too, but yes. The Zenfone 3, definitely faster. Now, as regards to price, I'll definitely say that the Zenfone 3 is uh, way more cheaper than the Zenfone 4 right now. So, Zenfone 3 definitely wins on price because, well, it's been in the market for more than a year. Now, on coming to my conclusion, there are some things that I loved and hated about both devices. Now, first up, I like the fact that the Zenfone 4 feels solid in the hand. I also love the new camera, especially the wide-angle camera and the software portrait mode. That thing is fantastic. The speakers on the Zenfone 4 was also louder, but I definitely prefer the Zenfone 3, especially if you want to use the headphone jack. Performance-wise, I would say they were quite similar. The same thing goes for the battery life as well. Now, on finalizing this video, I noticed a theme uh, with uh, this comparison video, which is that the Zenfone 3 really does hold up well to the Zenfone 4. Okay, yes, don't get me wrong. There's that secondary camera, which I love. Uh, the grip on the Zenfone 4 is indeed better. I also like that, uh, you know, the fingerprint scanner is faster, but definitely, okay, uh, the camera also is pretty, uh, you know, better than the, the Zenfone uh, 3, but the Zenfone 3 does hold up well. And I think if you have the Zenfone 3, you really shouldn't be considering the Zenfone 4, except, except you want that wide angle camera you want, you know, uh, Zen UI 4, which I think is going to come to the Zen UI th Zenfone 3 anyways. But apart from that, the Zenfone 3 is actually a pretty good device. But if you have, let's say, a Zenfone 2 or, you know, a Zenfone 3 Laser or Max or any of those lesser Zenfone devices, it's a no-brainer. Zenfone 4 is an amazing upgrade for you. Anyways, uh, that's basically been it. I hope you enjoyed this video. This video has taken me, it's about uh, 2.15 a.m. in the morning right now. So yes, it has taken me a long time to make this video. Before I finish this video, however, I want to give a big shout out, like I promised in the intro of this video, to the people, I have my iPad here, to the people who left a comment on my community post. You guys are amazing. And I said I was going to give you guys a shout out. So yes, in, if you want a shout out in the future, leave a comment. So I want to give a shout out to Sujit. NDN, Nawaz, Ash King, uh, Belinda, Belinda, Akil, Amar, EKZ, Yash Singh, Deep, Jelun, Vivek, Amri Pro, Jimmy, Sia, Shriyash, Dennis, and 
everybody that left a comment thank you so much you are awesome if i mispronounce any of your names i'm so sorry but yes i will be posting in the community before i release new videos so you can you know tell me what you want to see and i think i covered almost everything that you guys left in the community post if i did not you can leave a comment i did not play games because i'd already done like gaming tests before so you can go check those videos out as well as the camera comparison as well anyways that's basically been it i hope you enjoyed this video it has taken me a lot to make this video so consider subscribing if this video helped you in any way uh give this video a big fat thumbs up if you like it it helps me out i like it thumbs down if there's and yeah, my recorder stopped working and I did not know until I take it to my computer that I wanted to edit and I discovered that shit. My recorder stopped working. Anyways, like I was saying, dislike this video if you did not like it. And even more importantly than liking or disliking or subscribing, please make sure to take care of yourself, okay? You're an amazing person. You're awesome. You're worth the best that this world has to offer. Never forget that. If you've forgotten that, I'm reminding you right now, right now, you are worth it and you are amazing, okay? That's basically been it. Uh, I had to reshoot this again because of my recorder that stopped working at the end of my shoot. Ah! But yes, that's basically been it. Thank you so much for watching. I love and I care about you. Don't forget to remain awesome. Bye.